Now, tell me if I'm wrong on this. It is very hard to be positive in this country. It is extremely hard to be positive in a country where Crystal Swing exists. <laughs> when I first saw Crystal Swing on The Late Late Show, if somebody had elbowed me and said, those are the three surviving members of the Fritzl family, <laughs> I would have believed them. Because it would make sense, right? That's what was happening in the basement. They were down there practicing show tunes. <laughs> right? Okay. So I haven't been a comedian all my life. I used to work as the IT help desk for my parents. I don't know if any, so, oh, some other people have been in this role as well, yeah. I never saw the ad go up on the fridge. I never submitted a CV. But as far as my parents were concerned, for about four or five years there, they thought I was waiting by the phone with the headset on, ready to deal with whatever bullshit queries they had. <laughs> about anything plugged in on our house. And I mean, it was usually the video cassette recorder. The video cassette recorder, they're never getting a DVD player. They're never getting anything else above it. A VCR is where it ends for them. They would ring me at any hour of the day or night, wreck in my head, 45 minute phone calls with a video cassette recorder. I've seen my dad's name come up the phone. I'm like, what does this motherfucker want now? It's just, it's just, like, that's not a good reaction when your dad's trying to ring you on your birthday. It's not good, right? <laughs> I am not being mean to my parents. These, like, they were killing me. I'll give you, here, I'll show you. What I'll do is I'll do the abridged version of what I was dealing with on my end of the phone when my father would ring me by the video cassette recorder at any hour of the day or night. Intimate moment, stressful moment. This is the short version of what I was dealing with on my end of the phone. No exaggeration. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you've said that, and you've said you've said that now, a, a few times, a few a few different ways. What I'm going to ask that what I'm going to ask you to do, just really quick, just really quick for me, just check, just check for me that it's turned on. <laughs> I'm not actually being like anything. I'm not being like anything. I'm, I'm just saying that that's happened in the past. <laughs> Okay, okay, cool. Well, if it's on, if it's on, it's straightforward from here. If it's on, just press zero, zero. <laughs> on the TV remote control, <laughs> zip. It's the smaller of the two. <laughs> there's, there's not a lot in it. There's not a lot in it, but it is the smaller of the two remote controls <laughs> currently in our head. Zero. <laughs> I'm not shouting. I am not shouting. <laughs> just saying zip. Z yeah, z it's underneath the number eight. <laughs> I don't know why they put it there. I don't know why. That is the tip of the iceberg. That is the tip of the iceberg. Those, fall those calls genuinely 45 minutes in length. I realized, Galway, in one moment that none of us have any right to get angry at our parents when they ask us questions about the modern world. We have to all accept your parents come from a different time to us. My parents grew up in an Ireland where alcohol was believed to be a cure for most common ailments. <laughs> including alcoholism. <laughs> it's a different world. Back then, a smoothie, a smoothie was just somebody who was quite confident and good with the ladies, right? I mean, th there's technology in this room that would frighten a lot of your parents. There's wireless internet in here. They have no hope of ever understanding that. Lights, four-legged chairs, all this shit, they're never, <laughs> they're never gonna fully get it. I realized all this in one beautiful moment. It was the moment my father sent me the first photo message he had ever sent in his entire life. So when my, he had never sent a text before, right? So when my phone buzzed and it said photo message from dad, the first reaction was, oh shit. My dad's phone has been stolen. Because there's no way, there was a way. What he had sent me was the most beautiful photo message that's ever been sent. What he had sent me was a photo of a whiteboard with some writing on it that read, haven't quite figured out how to text on this phone just yet. <laughs> 